Hello, I'm Dondi with Floracraft. I am a Floracraft craft and floral designer for about 24 years now. Um, I tell everyone I have the, the fun job in the company. <laughs> so today we're going to be making some large ornaments on our uh, styrofoam ball. I'm sorry. This is <laughs> used to be styrofoam. Floracraft now makes our own foam with recycled plastic. Um, it's it's a little more durable. It's not quite as dusty. Um, tends to hold picks and pins a little stronger. Um, and it's a little less fragile. So you're not going to get as many dings and and pokes in it that you don't want. Today we're using a green uh, chlorofoam ball. Um, green just because it blends nicely with the um, with the florals. We also make it in white. Um, that's more of our craft foam, um, more for craft projects. So this is the project we're gonna start with. It's, um, we'll say a kissing ball, a pomander ball, a, um, would be great for hanging off a porch, hanging in an entryway, if you have a big tree, um, just a great way to get florals in your Christmas decorations. And before I forget, which I should have started out with, today is Veterans Day, so I wanna give a call out to all our veterans and thank you so much for your service. Um, I don't know if any, we have anybody watching, do we have any veterans watching today? I'm not sure. We have someone from Honolulu. Wow. Wow. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us, everyone. I guess we can get started. Um, I'll show you a few of the materials that we'll be using today. So I found these hydrangeas in the floral department. They're kind of a velvety, beautiful, rich color that I just fell in love with. And I also found these uh, snowy holly picks in the floral department also. So you're gonna need four of the hydrangea and I think three or four of the, the frosted holly picks today. And then also I'm gonna show you how to use these, these little these little floral picks. And what they do when you have a stem, such as these that we're gonna cut off that don't have a wire in them, this gives you a nice sturdy stem to poke into our foam with. So let's get going. Okay, we can go to top down. All right, so all you're gonna do, and when you're in the store and you see something pretty like this and you think, well, that's never gonna work because it's too big to stick on a ball, just, just remember that you can cut it apart and you can make it do whatever you need. You don't have to leave it. You don't have to leave it like you buy it. So all I'm doing is cutting off all these little individual petals. And even these little guys on top, just gonna trim them all off. And then to use these little picks, you just lay this, the pick right along the edge of the stem you guys can see how I have that. And then you're just gonna take this wire and literally just wrap it around and around. Now, if, um, if you're selling this ball, making it to sell it, or if it's gonna be outside, you can take a little, either a um, anchor tape, little piece of tape or a little dot of glue. And that'll make sure that that stem's not gonna come out of there, but it's pretty tight. It does a pretty good job. So, this part's show you again and just, we're just wrapping them on. 
as tight as you can get it on there so it's not going to slip out of there. Dondi, you purchased these floral picks at Michael's as well, right? Yep, the floral picks are right there in the floral department, um, kind of back by the, um, like the tools and the vase filler and stuff on that back wall. It looks like you get quite a few in a package. We do, and I threw away the wrapper or I would tell you exactly how many you get in a package. I think it's like, Four fifty, fifty maybe. So we just have to do this with all of them. So while I'm doing this, is there any other questions? How many other visitors do we have from different areas? We have some from Arizona and Indiana, New Jersey. All right. Getting a variety today. Florida, Miami, just Florida, <laughs> Cleveland, Houston. All nice. over. Nice. So yeah, so I have this great big hydrangea that I'm just chopping apart. Into, into individual stems and then securing these floral picks on so that because they don't have a wire stem, this gives them a stable pick to insert into our floral foam ball. And how many of these would you need to do? Um, I have four stems here um, and it, it all depends on how, I have four hydrangea and um, on this one, and it all depends on how, how compact you wanna make it. You know, you can really pack a lot on there or space them out a little bit and use a little less. Tommy, where are you broadcasting from? We are broadcasting from Ludington, Michigan. We are on the west shore about halfway up the state of Michigan. Beautiful little resort town. And this is where our headquarters is, Floracraft's headquarters. All right, let's start putting a few in. Not that it's any, it's not that hard to do, but um, yeah, you're just gonna start inserting them. Kind of close by each other. We can always fill in later, but just so they're kind of almost touching or pretty much touching. And then, once you have a little patch, we have these guys too. And these are a little different. I mean, it was easy to cut those off, but I wanted to buy one to show you guys that even if it's like a long stem like this, you're thinking, what, how did, you know, it's, it's never gonna work. But just, just figure out how long you want them, say about like that, and just cut it there and we'll add a pick to it. So look at how many pieces you get out of this one branch. Like that can be a piece. That could be a piece. And you just keep going and just cut in little sections to use individually. And they actually get quite a bit out of the stem. And that's another thing. If you get a hard one that doesn't want to cut, very good. If you um, like that down here on these hard ones, if you get your clippers on there and rock it back and forth a couple times, that does help it cut through there a little easier. You now some of those stems could be pretty hard. We have a viewer from Canada who got two feet of snow just recently. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry. I look well, like Holly out there. Do you like snow? I guess it's okay if you like snow. <laughs> a lot of snow in November. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was, get, I just had my um, Amazon photos send you those updates of what you, your year ago photos. And we had two inches of snow last November at this time. So, so yeah, so these, now some of these, depending on where you cut them off the stem, some of them are gonna have a rigid stem on them and they'll insert right in. And then some of them are gonna have these little plastic stems and you'll have to add a pick. But how easy is that? I mean, think about all the little scraps of little stuff and little leaves and little flowers that have these goofy little stems and you're thinking, you know, what am I ever going to do with those? Stick them on a pick. And they have these longer too. I believe they come in six inch. I shouldn't say that because I'm not sure that Michaels has them in six inch, but I think they come in, I think they have them longer too. And this is all we're doing is we're just starting to fill in this ball and then just every so often add a little piece of. Dondi, do you need to glue the picks in? Um, if, if it's gonna be used outside, I would. Um, they're, they're in there, I mean, they're in there pretty tough. So they do, this, this, the fluorofoam ball holds stuff pretty nicely. Um, but yeah, if it's, if it's gonna be somewhere where it's gonna be a lot of wind or it's gonna get moved around, I would, um, I would glue them in. What kind of glue would you use? Um, on star on floor foam, <laughs> on a uh, floor craft foam, I use low temp glue gun. Um, only because high temp, if you get a lot of glue in one place, it'll melt the foam. And then it won't, it just won't glue, it'll just melt. And why did you choose this type of foam versus EPS foam? Uh, star foam, I'm sorry. If I say that again, I'm gonna get fired. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's 24 years of it. Um, our foam now um, is, is much easier to pick into. It, um, it has what they call open cells so when you force something into it, all those cells give way and let it easily insert. Where EPS has um, little, little balls of foam. And when you try to pick into it, you hit all those little balls and they kind of wad up inside. And it, and it, it just doesn't give you a nice, a nice grab like our, like our foam does. Did that answer that somewhat? Looks like I need to make some more picks. And sometimes you'll see when you're, when you're picking into it, you might run into something. And if you do just pull it out and give it a different angle or move it in a different spot until you find a spot to get it in there. These are hydrangeas that you're using, right? Yep, faux hydrangea from the, right from the floral department. They're just single stem, um, single stem hydrangea. And are they just a everyday flower or were they part of the holiday section? You know, I think they are part of the holiday section because they were right in with these snowy picks. That one's gonna be a little long. We might make two out of that one. And that's the other thing. If you put it on a pick and it's a little crazy, 
just reach in there where you can cut it and use that other part somewhere else. So when you are uh, making these and you make your beautiful masterpiece, we would love to see them. And you can upload those to hashtag made with Michaels or hashtag Laura Craft. I'll add those hashtags into the chat. Oh, it's coming together. About halfway there. See, but I cheated and I went ahead and did a few of these ahead of time. So you guys didn't have to be totally bored. So Dandy, it looks like you're not pushing it all the way close to the ball. Are you leaving a little space? Yep, leave a little space. It kind of stops where the um, where the little rubber stem or plastic stem hits the top of the ball. But that's okay because you get a bigger size that way. You get a little more for your bang for your buck. Leaving it out like that. And a fun add in in here too would be um, to poke ribbon in like a maybe a printed ribbon or a, maybe a little shine of a ribbon in here would be pretty too. Or lights. Like oh lights. <laughs> Definitely lights. And about how far are you putting them in apart from each other? Um, you can see it's about an inch, maybe inch and a quarter, inch and a half, I'd say. You can see from the bottom. Well, they're pretty far apart. And then, you know, when you get done and you're looking around and you're like, geez, I can see a lot of that ball in there. Just, just clip another piece of flower. And, but wait until it's all the way covered before you start adding more because sometimes the next one will cover that hole and you won't see it as much. Well, there's nothing gonna cover that hole, there we go. Dandy, can you recommend any other flowers that would work and look pretty for Christmas? Actually, Felicia from Michaels just showed us a beautiful ball that she did with red roses and this cool, I can't think of the name of the stuff. Do you know the name of that stuff? Oh, I'm thinking of it, I can't think it's of it. It's like either. this traily, I don't know, our Jamie has, dad has a greenhouse, so she's supposed <laughs> to know all these things. Let me look it up. <laughs> but it, there were these really pretty little dangly um, vines that come down from it with red roses and it was beautiful. So roses would work. Um, let's see. Peonies. I mean, I love peonies. I think that would be great. I think anything that's kind of puffy like that will work. I just love the color and the texture of this hydrangea. And since I get to pick, I will pick something I like, right? It's gonna bother me. I gotta, you gotta I find out now. <laughs> it's a little homework. All right. Okay, so in case there's any late comers, I'll show you what I'm doing here. So I started with this uh, single hydrangea stem out of the flower department at Michael's. And all I'm doing is it has all these individual, it goes out of the way, all these individual little stems. 
So you're just gonna go ahead and cut all those individual stems off there. Called oh, amarantha. Amaranthus. <laughs> That's what she had dangling with her roses. It was very pretty. But yeah. Um, what do you call those other roses that are kind of flat? Garden roses? Oh yeah. Those are pretty. So that's all I did. And then I have these flower picks. And all we do is just take your flower pick, your wired pick, lay it, lay it next to the stem. And then just take this little wire, it's already attached. And you're just gonna wrap it on there and that'll give you a nice sturdy stem to stick into our foam ball. Caught myself. Kind of glad I did this one first. <laughs> Taking a lot longer than I thought. It just feels that way because you're on camera. It's not taking you that long. <laughs> okay. Okay. So who has some ideas of where to hang these guys? I mentioned maybe like a porch railing, um, maybe in an entryway, if you have a gigantic tree. <laughs> Where are some other places we'd be able to hang these? Any ideas? A doorway. I mean, if you're going to use it as a kissing ball. You can make it like mistletoe. Yeah, like a mistletoe. I think so. If someone says on the car for a Rudolph nose. There you go. <laughs> I didn't think of that one. <laughs> Definitely glue in your stems. <laughs> Definitely glue them in. Oh, good. Felicia found a, a link to the green am amaranthus stem. Oh, good. See? <laughs> Did she post a picture of her masterpiece? I don't see that yet. <laughs> <laughs> in a greenhouse window and a large Christmas tree. Nice. Ooh, or to put in a, in a pot for a large um, focal piece like a topiary. Oh yeah, yeah, or, yeah, like on a candle, candlestick or some kind of a stand for sure. Be pretty. We're almost there. <laughs> oh, this guy broke right off. I think I pushed too hard. That's okay, we'll just add a new one. See how easy that was to fix? starting to run into, you'll notice when you get towards the end, oopsie, oh now where'd you come from? <laughs> you'll notice when you get towards the end that you run out of places to poke into that little ball. But just keep wiggling it around, trying it in different angles and different spots and you'll find an empty spot sooner or later. Kind of running out of room here. You're off camera. Don, 
Nadi, what other holidays and seasons could you create these pomanders or kissing balls for? How about, well, you could do pink ones. You could do Valentine. Then they could be true kissing balls. Um, how about pastel? Instead of doing like decorated Easter eggs, you could do decorated um, floral balls for Easter if you did them in pastels. Or weddings. Definitely weddings for sure. Yeah, we did a, um, a photo shoot for our large foam balls and we did a bunch of um, pink pink roses on these, like these giant balls and um, hung them from like the chair down the aisle, down the wedding aisle. We hung them on all the chairs going down the aisle. It was really pretty. Yeah, New Year's Eve is an idea, St. Patrick's Day. Oh, even using our egg-shaped craft foam for Easter. For sure. That's a great idea. Yep. Listen to all these great minds, <laughs> all these crafters. All right, I think I'm gonna stick one more in there and I'm gonna call it good. Any questions? I think you guys probably have this one down. It looks pretty full. Look, oh, that's pretty dirty. <laughs> All that snow. Yep. It's gonna look like Canada. <laughs> How do you hang it? We are gonna put a <laughs> hanger on there right now. Let me get all this out of here so we don't have snow all over everything. It looks like there's a nice little hole right there in the top. And what I found was this adorable faux fur ribbon. Is that not cute? So I didn't even measure it, to tell you the truth. You just use however long of a hanger, you're gonna double it. So about yay, I think is probably good. I'm gonna call that 12 inches, so a 24 inch piece. And you definitely want to glue in your hanger. And what I do is just make a loop. So you're gonna make a loop and overlap the, the ends. And then take, this is a floral pin. I'm gonna rub, put it on there so you can see what it looks like. This is a, um, they call it a greening pin. And this is also, it's right next to the, um, to the picks and the floral department. So take your pin, go from the inside and you're just gonna poke it right through that ribbon. And this is where I would add some glue. I would add some glue well, not there under there yet because you're off camera. I would add some glue. Hello? Glue? Are you plugged in? <laughs> well, you, you get the idea. You're going to hand some, you're going to put some glue right there. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Little by little. And that's low temp glue, right? Yes. And with foam, you want to use low temp so that it doesn't melt the foam. So you get it down in there. And then I would put, um, I would put glue right over the top of that pin too. So then you'll have glue on the bottom of the pin next to the ball and then glue on the top of the pin to keep it in place. So you don't want it to go flying. And there you have it. Hydrangea and Holly kissing ball. Okay, moving right on. So this next one,
this next one I did, I found this awesome ribbon, of course at Michael's. So it's cable knit sweater ribbon. It like makes your life so much easier. You don't have to cut apart your old sweaters. So for this one, we have our six inch floor foam ball. You also need this a pine pick. It's got like three little sections on it with um, real pine cones. It's probably about a 12, 14 inch pick. And then I also found these little red berries. Um, you'll just need one stem of these and one stem of this. And these were both in the stem, floral stems at Michael's. All right. So, to find the center of the ball, the easiest way that I've found is to find one of these fabric rulers and you're gonna start at the middle wherever on the side. And I like to just pin that right there and keep it in place. You're gonna wrap this ruler around and you wanna make sure that it's cutting that ball perfectly in half. Perfectly in half. So it measures, we're gonna say 18 and a quarter inches. So you figure if it's 18 and a quarter inches all the way around, we're gonna take it back to nine and a 16th and that should be halfway, right? Right. So put your thumb there where it measures halfway, fold the tape back and put another pin there. Then you know where halfway is. So, oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> yeah, this is a great idea. Okay. Should work. Worked on my last one. Okay. So nine and eight. Right about there. That's about right. So then you have the top and the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see those pins, but you have them pretty well in the center. So first thing I did was take the the end of this ribbon. And I just put the little um, greening pin right through it so it kind of gathers it together. And I'm going to put this right at this top pin. And you're going to glue it. You're going to want to put glue right under here where it where the pin and the, and the ribbon meet the ball. And that'll just keep it in there. And then go ahead and wrap that all the way down to your second pin. Where'd it go? There it is. To your second pin. And then I will put another pin right there, right where it's in the center. 
and that will hold that there for just a minute. And we're going to take this back out once you get the other two in, or the other pieces in. This is just to give us a spot to, so that it's centered nice for you. And then bring it back up to the other side. You're going to want it a little, a little tight so it lays nice. Bring it right up and meet this other one and cut it off. And add another pin. Just like that. And you're gonna wanna glue everywhere that you put a pin, add a, add a little glue. Just because with the, um, with the ribbon being so bulky, the pin has a hard time pushing in far enough. So if you add that little bit of glue in there, it'll be sure to hold that in place for you. All right, and then I'm gonna stretch this out just a little bit to cover a little bit more of your ball. And what's nice, um, the foam is a little bit, has a little texture, so it, it grabs onto that sweater really nice and holds it out for you. All right, now you'll have two, two bare sides to your ball. And you'll take the ribbon again, gather it at the top. And all of this mess is gonna be covered with your little bit of greenery. So you don't have to worry about it looking a little bit messy in the top. Pull it up, stick a little glue in there. Hold it for a second. <laughs> My little voice. All right, and then when you get this one to the bottom, bring it to where your other pin is, right up to, to it, and cut it off. And go ahead and pin it for now, as close, pin it for now as close as you can get it. And then we're gonna go back and take that pin off that first one, this one and um, sort of cover up these ends a little bit and make it a little cleaner once we get the other one on. So we'll put on our last piece on the top. We just gathered it. Put a greening pin through. And then as close as you can get to these others. Little bit of glue underneath. Hmm? No, I got it. It just wouldn't stand up. So we just gather it, squeeze it. Fill it in, bring it down till it's right close to that bottom pin. And we can trim it too once we get this out of the way. So there's that. Okay, and now take out this bottom pin that you did the halfway and tuck in those little messy ends. And cover those pins up. So it's all nice and clean. Well, if I didn't have snow all over it. And then this one, same thing. We'll just tuck that right under there.
And that hides all that cut stuff out of the way. Sort of. And then what is another beauty about foam is if it's a little, see how it kind of bulges out right there? If you take it on the table and just kind of push it as hard as you can and give it a little smush, it'll push those little wads right into the foam and it kind of makes them disappear almost. So it's nice and smooth. And just go back. If you need to add a little, you need to add a little glue in there to keep your seams from opening up, you can do that. Just stick them back together. And what type of glue are you using on foam again? This is a low temp glue gun. And I actually found this, I believe over in the floral department also. I'm just peeling back the ribbon and squirting in a little lime glue, folding it back over. There we go. All right, and then to hide all this little mess, actually don't see a piece of ribbon. Okay. Well, I'm going to steal this one just because I can. So on this one, I first put on, I just cut a piece of ribbon. I folded it in half, kind of like the white one, put the floral pin or the greening pin through the center. And then I'm just going to insert it right in here. And if you can dig down and find foam, that would be best because then it's going to anchor nice for you. Well, not really. We'll add a quite a bit of glue and stick that on there. Try not to burn yourself. If you wiggle back and forth, it'll help get you through all those layers of ribbon too wiggle your pin back and forth as you're putting it in kind of helps part that ribbon and get it in there you can give this a little trim job if you want you need to oh this one's pretty bad all right so then you know where your hanger is now you're just going to decorate around your hanger with all these little pretty little pine picks and berries what type of ribbon did you use for the hanger? This is just a, I found a red velvet ribbon. All right. And for the decorations, all I did was cut apart this pick. I only used, I think these two bottom ones. We'll see. Might use that one too. So for these, you're not, even though it has a stiff um, stem, you're really not going to be able to poke it into the ball and you don't really want to use pins because you're going to see them. So all I did was put the glue right on the stem and then just kind of wiggle it into this, into this ribbon. It kind of holds it in place. So you put one pick off that side, maybe one off the other side. Just add some glue and kind of wedge it in. You got enough of that little bit of fluff on top from your ribbon that it kind of holds it in place. Those aren't going to work. I'm going to put 
this one right in the center. And just however much you want. Should have brought a little stand. One right there. I think that's plenty. I'm going to add in some berries. Again, just, just cutting this apart. Use what I need. I'll do a few more. And we're gluing these in also. There's really no way to hang it or poke it into the foam. We have to just glue it on top. Put some on all sides. So I'm on this side. And then, because we're seeing all these little funny little glue <laughs> this funny little glue mess on top right there that I'm kind of getting. So I'm just going to cut apart this little piece of pine. And I'm just going to glue it right over the top and then you won't see any of those stems or any of the glue. Just hide it all. So that's that. That's the second one. Oh, yeah, go a little better. So that's your second option. Any questions on this one before I move on to number three? Crickets. Okay, so number three is this holly and pine. And to make this one, I bought these bushes and these are over like in this, they're in the floral aisle, but they're in those, um, like the center aisles that's down the middle with all the little bushes and they're in the, in the seasonal department. So on these, they're all on quite long stems, but we don't, we don't need them on long stems for this particular project. So a good way to do this bush is to literally just slide everything up to the top. And that makes almost like a nice little pick. So you're putting everything to the end of the stem, even on these. So you just, it starts out like that and you just, push it right to the top. So you're gonna do that on all of them. And then you're gonna cut about, uh, about an inch stem. Slide them to the top. Does this trick only work on wired picks? Um, well, yeah. And, and if, you're, if you're looking for a bush that, that you wanna try to do this with, um, just make sure that the individual leaves and items on the stem slide. Some of them are stationary and you can't do this little trick, but I found this one that actually works. You can slide them all up and turn them into your own little picks. And 
And you're probably going to need three or four of these, depending on how full you want to make it. And if you want to do a larger ball, by all means, buy a larger ball and buy more bushes. <laughs> make it bigger. What's the smallest ball that you would recommend for this type of project? Well, our, um, I think our green ball only goes down to a four inch. And actually by the time you get all these stems into it, I don't, I don't know that I go much smaller than a four inch. I mean, I guess if you used smaller picks or smaller, um, oh, and sometimes that happens, but it's okay. Cause you can just slide everything back on there. And they all have this little funny little tip and that's what's supposed to keep everything from popping off the end. Yeah, so I guess if you used a smaller ball and you used smaller pr product, smaller picks, you could go to a probably a three inch easy. This is our four inch ball, what I'm using today. And this one's actually really easy. Um, if, because these stems are smooth, um, I would definitely glue them all in, but um, just for now, I'm not, I'm not going to. They have um, the berry picks and then there's some of this pine and then there's pine cones. So all I've done is just make sure that I separate them so that every so often there's a berry and every so often there's a pine cone and you get the idea. So we're just pushing them in as far as they can go. Um, just far enough apart that when you look in, you don't see the ball. And it doesn't matter how you do it, just whatever looks good to you. But this is a super easy project that doesn't take a lot of time. So you could actually do a lot of them for a little money and little supplies and little time. It'd be a really good handmade hostess gift for a holiday party. Absolutely. Your own arrangement. So I'm just sliding all the leaves up the stem to the end and then cutting about an inch, inch, inch and a half to insert into the ball. Yeah, so when you're walking around and you're shop in Michael's and you see something and you go, oh, that's too long or, oh, that's not gonna work. It doesn't have enough at the end. Just remember, just, if you like it, buy it and make it work for you. Sounds like a good mantra. If you like it, buy it. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of about that too. <laughs> My husband probably agrees. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that's what you do. This one is super fast. Let's see, it's just filling it in. And remember to, um, I know I'm not showing you to glue these, but just be sure that you glue them all because 
the smooth plastic on these stems, it just doesn't have enough bite to hold into the foam. It wants to just slide back out. Doesn't take a lot of glue. Just make sure you use low temp glue gun. Are you putting these in about the same distance apart as the first ornament that you showed? Yeah, I think they're about the same. Um, about the same apart, about I'd say inch, inch and a quarter apart. Looks like I'm spacing them. It looks like it's filling in pretty nice. And this one, I'm not going to come all the way to the center. I'm going to leave a little bit of room for the bow. That might be, yeah, we'll stick a couple more in there. Since I already cut them. All right. So I'd say that's probably about a two inch circle. I'm going to leave empty for the bow. The bow. Is it better to put the glue on the pick and then insert it or put it on the ball and then insert the pick? I would insert, I would put glue on the pick and insert it into the ball. It seems to hold a little nicer. So I don't have a piece of tie wire right here. There's um, also in the floral department at Michael's is um, it's called cloth covered tie wire or stem wire. And it works nice for uh, tying bows because that cloth gives it a little, a little bite to hold better. Um, but I'm just gonna show you a quick bow uh, that I stuck on the top of this one. So if you hold your tail and I, I just hold as much tail as I want, that's probably about a four inch tail. So about a four inch tail, you're gonna bend the loop back to the back of the tail and pinch. Once you get that pinched, you're gonna kick that tail out of the way. You're gonna bring your ribbon up, make another loop and pinch at the center. Now this time when you pinch, give it a little turn and that gives you a nice pucker in your bows. Bring another loop to the center, pinch it with your thumb, give it a twist and another loop and then your tail. So you got four loops and two tails. And then you would take your tie wire, lay it right in the center of your bow, bring it between your tails to the back, give it a good pinch and twist that as tight as you can get it. I'll have that. And then you can adjust your bow, trim your end, and then to make this 
pretty little dovetail on your ribbon. An easy way to do it is to fold your ribbon in half and just cut from your end to your center. And that makes a nice even tail. Fold it in half from the end to the center. Just like that. And we're gonna put one tail on this side of the bow and one tail on that side of the bow. So it's even. I would put glue um, on the bottom of your bow. And then a floral pin over the top to hold it in place. And then this guy, just like I did the, um, the other one, this is just a piece of um, velvet ribbon, any ribbon. I mean, you could use cording, you could use this ribbon, any ribbon will work. Um, this is probably a 24 inch piece. So just make a loop, take your pin, stick it through the center. I would put glue um, under here also. So this is your hanger. You want it to stay real tight and go right over the top of the other one. Ouch. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. Well, somewhere in there. There we go. All right, and there's your hanger. Ornament number three. Do we have any questions? I'd like to remind you guys to um, Definitely um, show us your show us your projects. We have uh, hashtag made with Michaels, hashtag Floracraft. We'd love to see what you've done. And I guess if there's no questions, I'd like to thank everyone for joining us today. And um, how about a sneak peek at next week's project? Yes. Lots of love coming in for your ornaments here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is next week, Wednesday. We're gonna show you how to make this fun peppermint wreath. Next week, Wednesday at three o'clock central. All right, so no further questions. I thank everyone for coming and making it fun with Floracraft. Until next time.